right. Um, we got some more uh, mushrooms on the shiitakes, and uh, probably going to have quite a few more after I've watered. They're starting to get a little bit dry, so I'm starting to water the logs, and uh, that is unquestionably why we've had so much trouble with them in the past, is we just didn't keep them watered enough, because we have had tremendous success since we've started. Um, but we have shiitakes uh, right back there. You can see the water dripping down, but you can also see the shiitakes, and there's some right down here. My wife says i got to pick them because they're going to get too bad if I don't. And I've got a few more coming. Uh, looks like i got one starting down there. And uh, anyway, the... That was by far, far, far the most shiitakes I have ever gotten. Uh, the uh, oyster logs are doing very well. We're going to water them this afternoon. Um, they're getting ready to give a continue the flush. Um, as you can see, it's uh, going to be a very. It has been a very nice flush, and is likely to continue to be a nice flush. And uh, we've also got some turkey tails on here that uh, my wife is really wanting to get <laughs> to get after. Um, some of those like that right there, she thinks are real pretty, which I agree with her. I think that those are real pretty. Um, and uh, I don't know that they taste much better than the others, but they are kind of cool looking. So once I've watered that, once I've watered the uh, shiitakes, these guys over here um, are the logs that we have been kind of, that were on top of that and uh, had to move them so we could get uh, get some growth going. They have some, uh, I put some oyster mushrooms in them, some blue oyster mushrooms in them. And I can see a couple of mushrooms coming up on some logs that I know have already had a flush. Um, so they'll have, some, they'll have some in a couple of days. I'm going to rearrange her stack because... I was at work, and when the flush came, I had to leave, so uh, I was able to uh, show them to her and eat one, but that was about all I could do. So anyway, this is the stack that I took off of the uh, shelf here, and uh, I don't know if we're going to get rid of the shelf or they're going to keep it for, because when you got to re reorganize and rearrange, it's actually kind of handy to have. But anyway, um, I think... For all intents and purposes, this is our third year with mushrooms, and I think we're beginning to get the hang of it and figure out how to get uh, a few mushrooms. Um, that flush on the uh, oysters was a very nice flush. Um, there's no telling how many mushrooms we've got out of that. We're drying some. Uh, they may be getting put up on her front, on her camera today uh, just because I'm trying to teach her how to do it so she can... Then get it on my account on the you uh, on the uh, YouTube account um, from her phone. So anyway, um, I'm likely to add some videos of some of the mushrooms inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut it off now and add later to it. Okay, we'll try try again. <laughs> got a had to make phone call or got a phone call in return. Um, for my brother. We're uh, dehydrating oyster mushrooms and uh, Darian's playing with toys. Hold on, I'm gonna do something not on this yeah, video. Well, not, not on this video. No, no, not on this Darian. video. This is, this is showing them how to do the drawing. Yeah. You, you, you can do it. Do it with the other one because it's connected. Yeah. All right, these are uh, oyster mushrooms. Uh, this is our second flush and from that from the, at, between the first flush and the second flush, we got enough mushrooms to eat. You know, every day it would produce, or once, a, you know, every, every, during the week, we were able to pick enough to eat two or three times during the week just off of the uh, mushroom logs we have. Um, so we were, we were eating mushrooms. Uh, the end of the last flush was so productive, we, we just, Okay, we gotta dry them because we yeah. ran out of we, we ran out of time space and there was no way we were eating that many. <laughs> so, and uh, again, these are our. Uh, there is absolutely con 
convinced you need to see some of his toys. Or I need to put him here. You put him there. Oh. Now this is, this right. is supposed to be mushroom video. Brought to you in part by. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to be part of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. He's, he's going to grow up and be a director or something. No. He's no. going to be something. <laughs> yeah, we, we, be we, a boy. We, we hadn't figured it out yet. <laughs> All right, I'm just keeping on. Uh, yep. Uh, these are the, uh, these dehydrators are, we got them. I think the first or the second year after we moved in the house, I know it was either the first or second year after we moved in the house. Um, been in the house 27 years. So these are 25, 26, something like that years old. And uh, we have, uh, I think, gotten our money's worth out of it. We paid something like $20 for these. And uh, yeah, my, one's like five at the flea market. And my my wife got the other one at the flea market for about five dollars, and it's also just about as old. These are oysters. Five trays of oysters. They, they shrink down quite well. <laughs> so but you can add them. But you can add them to. Yep. Yeah, but you can add them to soups and stews and uh, different things like that without any trouble at all. Um, and uh, you know, let let the soup or stew rehydrate them. You don't have to actually uh, rehydrate them before you use them, depending on what you're putting them in. Um, you know, if you're going to use them in an omelet, you probably want to partially rehydrate. Ah, shiitake. Yeah. Got left. Got mixed in. He got mixed I in. Touch it. Yeah, but you touched the chair. <laughs> Where did the ice? I have no idea. So, all right. Well, not completely sure. I'm gonna be attaching several of these um, as we're dealing with this this latest flush and also with the mushroom logs. But uh, we're we're beginning to think we uh, might have uh, figured out how to do mushrooms um, and get them growing and get the get enough to eat. So uh, these logs. The logs that we got these off of will make it through next year. Um, most, almost certainly, they'll make it all the way through next year, and they could make it through um, a third year. Um, just depends on how how extensive they the oysters eat the the logs. Um, and we do for the oysters in particular. We're probably always going to use the uh, the sweet gums unless we just find a, an abundance of oaks one day. But the sweet gums, please don't do that right now. Oh, yeah. But uh, the sweet gums work very well for the oysters, and they are working pretty well for the shiitakes. But we're probably going to try to get our hands on some oaks, cut down some oaks for next year to uh, to do with the shiitakes. Um, and they will last five to six years on, on oaks. Uh, the shiitakes will. So uh, anyway, we have easy access typically to, uh, to sweet gums because... People don't really want to use it for burning, <laughs> but it works great for, but it works great for the mushrooms. Uh, so, all right. Anything else you want to add on to this? No, I, I, it's taking me a little bit to put all these in here. But then, oh all yes, right. I let them dry between. Sealed yet? Uh, Not yet. No, it takes a little bit of time. All right. I let them dry between 15 and 18 hours. Okay, so these guys here dry between 15 and 18 hours, and these guys here also about the same length of time. So. Uh, all right, well, I will go ahead and stop this, and if you like this sort of thing, um, we may cook with some. Um, we've already cooked with them today, but we may video cooking with some <laughs> later today, depending on what we pick. So uh, anyway, if you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe, and I'm not 100% sure I'm attaching this to you. Probably the rest of the ones where, where we're plugging it up, we'll just do these for drying, uh, but uh, we'll see. All right, bye. We'll discuss schoolwork after we're done with the video. Okay, we are drying our uh, turkey tails, and uh, we're also gonna make a cup of turkey tail tea. It's, it's awful small, I'll just throw him in there with my tea. <laughs> uh, use about that many for a cup of tea, and uh, my wife and I will both drink of it, and you could use less, you could use more. 
And we're uh, drawing shiitake in here too. And we got some shiitake and got some more blue oysters, some more oysters that need to be going in there. Um, I think we may have to get one more rack for the oyster. That looks like a few too many oysters to go in there. But we'll just eat them. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have enough for breakfast this morning. Nope. <laughs> All right, got a few more here. Um, we're gonna dry Those them. We'll, we'll definitely be. Here. Those we'll, need to be up here. We'll yeah. definitely be throwing them in the uh, in a canning jar in a jar. Um, they don't have a lot of moisture in them anyway. Um, but you can see the the kind of distinctive. There's one. Yeah, right there. Guys, <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can see that it looks like a turkey's tail going across. Um, and on this side, you can look at it and tell that it is uh, not a gilled mushroom, like a, uh, that, that is what's called a gilled mushroom, but it's a polypore. Um, it means it has little tiny pores, which you can just about see in there, and that's where the, uh, the mushroom spores come down from. So uh, we've been, we've actually been enjoying the, uh, drinking the turkey tail tea, and hopefully it does have the uh, the uh, functions that we're told it has. <laughs> so well, maybe we won't say us uh, so many times. <laughs> yeah, my, my wife says she she doesn't find herself searching for a word as often, but she's been drinking it more than I have because I drive a truck and I can't really do a turkey tail tea in my truck very easily. I I don't even want to know what I I don't even know what I'd have to explain to DOT if they came into my truck. <laughs> Around a turkey tail mushroom, <laughs> somehow, somehow I think we'd we'd find ourselves in a a bit of a pickle. So, uh, but they have no, but they have no narcotic effect. They have no nothing like that. So, I'm not. Uh, I'm just saying. I don't. You know, DOT is kind of funny. If you ever get stopped, they 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 can be really odd. Some of their rules are make no sense. Um, Yes. What is it so important? These are the funniest. These are the funniest looking potatoes ever. Okay. Let me. Going through his. Going through his uncle's. Going through his uncle's toys and junk and. And these. Okay. All right. One more thing. Yes. It's easier to cut shiitake with scissors than with a knife. Well, especially if you're doing it by hand and not like on a cutting board. Yeah. If you're, not if you're doing it on a cutting cutters. board. One more thing. Yes, so. what? This is what Mama is doing with them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all didn't know that. We were being that. goofy the other day. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll make some tea and uh, drink some tea. I might make dairy and drink. Thank so. you for visiting our home again. <laughs> our crazy life. <laughs> and we're going. This is the uh, heat them up hand warmer. You shake it around. I did have enough to put in a pint of the shiitake. See there? And I hit it like that to level it out some. And I shake this and get it and activate it. But this is the foil. I'm going to put in there to protect it. There we go. It's getting hot. Right. It's getting uh, warm. And what the oxygen absorb, what the uh, hand warmers do is absorb oxygen, which causes them to heat. And uh, by absorbing the oxygen, then you've taken the oxygen out of the jar, and so they don't. Uh, the bugs don't like it. Yeah, well, the bugs can't get in because it yeah. pulls in the butter, but also the, it hold, it will help it to uh, uh, to survive for quite a period of time. We do that with uh, buckets with beans and stuff See, like that. I make a little holder for it. Yeah. I stick it in there, and then I put the lid on it and close it up. And later on, I'll show you that this will seal. Yep, it'll seal because it's absorbing the oxygen. And uh, this was not full enough yet, so yeah, we're, we're going to dry, dry some more today. So I'm just going to close it. Yeah, that, he'll be fine. He'll be fine for a day. <laughs> Dude, no problem. Uh, oysters, uh, mushrooms are about 90% water. So once you once you dehydrate them, that you do take a lot out. And 
I I know where I learned the trick um, initially of the oxygen of the hand warmers uh, was from Jack Spirico, the Survival Podcast. Um, I have heard it in other places since then, but uh, that's the first place I ever heard it, and uh, we've been using it for several years and works very very well. I use so, it in my dry beans too. Yep, we use it in the dry beans. We use it in all kinds of stuff. So, all right. Um, if you like this sort of thing, subscribe, please. Okay, going to be cutting and drying some uh, turkey tail mushrooms today. Um, so I've got a couple right here. Got a few more over there that I might try to get a hold of. And uh, we've already cut most of the uh, shiitakes off of here. And I hope the shiitakes are going to give us a bunch more. Got some others over here that I may cut later. But right now I want to just cut and see what we got. Um, I want to cut some and see how, we, see how well they dry. We're also going to eat some today. And I'm probably going to cut some off of this log over here. I got a, my wife, since I wasn't home, had to rearrange things for me. Uh, so she'd get to the uh, shiitakes. And I'm probably going to uh, move these over and uh, cut some of the, the uh, oyster, the uh, turkey tails off of here. As you can see, they're nicely, look real nice. Uh, and we'll probably go through some identifications um, showing how to tell which is which, you know, which, how to, how to tell we got a turkey tail. I uh, got a couple of nice little ones here I may grab also, just so we can get some. And we're probably going to have a bunch of mushrooms again uh, tomorrow or the next day. Um, probably tomorrow. <laughs> I picked a few of the smaller ones in here. Uh, just because when I, I'm fixing to move the hose over and water them, and I know from we know from experience that the ones that are like this size here, when you start one in the hose, they kind of turn mushy, and we'd rather eat them than let them turn mushy. So anyway, um, I'll probably do some more filming in a few minutes, and uh, especially with the, the turkey tails uh, drying them and making some more tea. All right. Yeah, All right. Hey. A short uh, extra. This is uh, the can that we sealed, and uh, as you can see, if I get it in front of there, that uh, we got the oxygen warmer on top of the aluminum foil, and these guys will stay good for quite some time until the flushes are done and we decide to uh, to use them. So uh, my wife insisted that I show this, so now I got to put everything back together probably. So all right. Um, again, if you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe. Bye. And it is nice and sealed because the oxygen came out.